All right, what we're talking about here is trekking or butterfly handlebars. Why would you want them? Um, what are they used for? The bottom line is, in this case, I'm converting an old rigid framed mountain bike into a touring bike. Um, to make a long story short, the uh, touring, these, these older mountain bikes, rigid frame, they have mounts for racks and so forth. It's a steel structure. They make pretty good uh, touring bikes if you don't want to spend a lot of money investing in a new bike and you want to convert an old one. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, this is a giant iguana from the early 90s. And these are the butterfly bars, the trekking bars, because of that butterfly kind of wing shape. Why do you want that? The bottom line is it gives you more hand positions. Like a road bike rider with drop bars will ride up on the bars, on the hoods of the brakes themselves, and down low. So why wouldn't I just put road bike bars onto here? Well, I'm mounting mountain bike hardware. I don't want to invest in making the levers from the road bike work with the V-brakes from the mountain bike, changing out the shifters. I'm trying to do this at a reasonable cost, so I want to keep the same shifting system from the mountain bike. Actually, I'm putting a newer one on, not the original uh, Suntour that was on this giant, but some uh, Shimano um, componentry. But anyways, uh, what you see here is it gives me three hand positions. I got a hand position here, I got a hand position here, and I got a hand position here. So I can sit more vertical, kind of like the hoods on the road bike, and then forward if I want to lean over a little bit more if it's a windy day or something like that. The bottom line is keeping your hands from going numb, giving you here, 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 multiple hand positions. So we talked about putting the brakes and the shift systems on here. How are they going to go on? Now let me grab one of those to give you an idea. It's from an, uh, another older bike, but um, this is a Shimano combination brake lever shift. And this is going to slide right onto the bar. And it's going to sit up in here like this, and that's going to be your brakes and your, your thumb shifting sitting here and the index finger shifting sitting right in there, which still leaves me my positions here and here. The brakes aren't in the way. Now one thing I want to point out, in looking online and looking at photos, I've seen a lot of situations where you'll see this sitting out in here, um, and what they do is they'll take a mountain bike grip and they'll put it in here, then they'll road bike tape this whole thing in there. The reason I don't like this, and again it's personal preference, but to me I don't want to be holding the, the handlebars in this tight. I want this width out here. It opens my chest up for breathing, um, makes things more comfortable there. So that's kind of the bottom line on that. And then what do you do with this little extra piece in here? Um, you can either wrap it, like you're going to wrap the rest of the bar. I plan on wrapping this to about here, so I can use this for bag mount, bike computers, phone mounts, that sort of thing, and basically lights. If i got to use a light, if I'm going to get into night riding and have this open in here. So again, let me reiterate something. How is this different from what you would have on your mountain bike? Well, if you went from the mountain bike, you'd have a straight bar. You'd be sitting right there, about the midpoint of the butterfly. You'd have hand positions here and here. So that's the two on there. Can you do this in other ways and actually not go through all this and change out the butterfly? Sure. You can buy the bar ends. This is a, um, if we take this bar end here, what we can do is this mounts onto the end of the bar like this and bolts on. And it gives me two more riding positions. Interesting enough, one on the side and kind of this little one up on the top. I'm not too excited about up on the top, but I can get out there, and it's not too bad on these particularly bent bar bar ends. So I pick up the side of the butterfly, and I pick up the front. That's a very viable option for you. It's pretty easy to do. You're just going to move in your grips and your shifters enough to accommodate the end of this, and then put an end cap in the end, and off you go. I think the main difference is, and I think the cost difference is about the same, um, this is lighter, at least in what I'm sitting here with, between this bar and these bar ends. This is a lighter option. And on top of that, I don't think there's much price difference. If I bought those bar ends, particularly the longer ones, they're probably going to run $20 to $30. I was able to buy these bars online for, I think, $21. And they're a nice, lightweight aluminum bar, so it works out pretty well that way.